Hey everyone, from today onwards, we will see classification of discrete time systems. So basically, discrete time systems are further classified based on their characteristic. Okay, so we have static and dynamic systems, we have causal and non-causal systems, time invariant and time variant systems, stable and unstable systems, then we have FIR and IIR systems, then we have recursive and non-recursive systems. We are going to deal with all the type of systems one by one in detail. Okay. So basically, today we are going to deal with static and dynamic systems. Fine. So let's start. So static systems, also known as memoryless systems, are our first topic of discussion point these systems are pretty straightforward in a nutshell a discrete time system is considered static if its output at any given moment only depends upon the input applied at that same moment okay it does not care about what happened in the past or what might happen in the future it's all about the here and now. Clear? Hope this thing is clear to you. Fine. Now let's see the example. This is a discrete time system. And suppose if x of n is the input to this system and y of n is the output from this system. Okay. So you should know about this three terms. If x of n, what is x of n? What is x of n minus 1 and what is x of n plus 1 fine so let's see this so x of n is what present input x of n is what present input okay because at now we are at instant n right x of n minus 1 is what a past input you can say it as a past input and x of n plus 1 n plus 1 is what basically it is future so future input think like you are standing at instant n right so n minus 1 is what past and n plus 1 is what future correct so you should aware about these things then it is easy for you to understand fine let's move further and let's see some example for static systems, right? So, y of n is equal to what? x of n, right? This is a static system. Now, one more. y of n is equal to what? n into x of n plus 2 x square of n right this two are what static systems static systems why because the output of a system at any instant n depends only on the input applied at that instant n right means it only depends upon the present value of the input not on the past not on the future right so it depends only on the present value of the input that is why it is what static systems correct fine on the other hand dynamic systems are one which is also called as what memory systems are a bit more complex okay unlike their static counterparts this system take into account past and future inputs as well as past outputs so when determining the output at any given instant okay so basically in a simple word a discrete time system is said to be dynamic or memory system if its output at any instant n depends upon past or future input or past outputs okay I hope this much is clear to you. They are like the time traveler of the system world, constantly looking back and forth to make sense of things. Fine. 
Now let's took an example to understand better the concept of dynamic systems, right? So first thing, time shifting signals, okay, summation cases signals and time scaling signals. These three are what dynamic signals, dynamic signals okay fine now let's move further let's see few examples okay fine so here if you see y of n is equal to x of 2n right if you observe here what is happening here time scaling is happening here so you can say this is an example for dynamic system dynamic system am i right fine if you go for the next example y of n is equal to x of n plus x of n minus 2 what is this n minus 2 n minus 2 means what past input so output depend upon the past input it means again it is what dynamic system okay y of n is equal to summation of x of n minus m where limit of m ranges from 0 to infinity so this is what all summation cases signal are what dynamic signals so this is dynamic signal but here memory how many memory is required infinite memory is required see the limit so infinite memory is required okay let's move further so if you see here y of n is equal to same example but the limit changed here so limit is now m is equal to 0 to n so this is also dynamic system but finite memory is required finite memory okay now let's move further so if you see y of n is equal to what x of n plus 4 into x of n minus 1 so again n minus 1 is there correct so depends upon the past input so this is what a dynamic system same for this this is what a dynamic system because here if you see basically if you see here so here y of n your output depends upon what past outputs also okay as well as the present input so past output also in the other sense if you see these things these things these are what this is a difference equation so you should be aware about this point any discrete time system described by a difference equation is a dynamic system hope it is clear to you that's why it is what dynamic system okay so another example of a dynamic system is a summer or accumulator so this discrete time system has memory meaning it takes into account past inputs to calculate its output it's like a mathematical wizard consent contentiously adding up previous values to create something new fine now any discrete time system described by a difference equation falls into the dynamic system category these systems are all about the relationship between inputs and outputs and they can get pretty intricate they are like puzzle waiting to be solved with each providing with each equation providing a clue to unravel their secret okay hope this much is clear to you now on the flip side a discrete time lti system a discrete time lti system okay is considered memoryless or static or static if if its impulse response means h of n impulse response which is basically denoted as h of n is what zero is zero for n not equal to zero fine so in simpler term 
if the impulse response does not have any significant value outside of n is equal to 0 then we are dealing with static systems fine and if the impulse response is not identically 0 for n not equal to 0 then the system is called dynamic system or system with memory fine so that's all about static and dynamic systems if you have any questions or concerns please free feel free to ask in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you for watching